It's not safe to go out. It's not safe to have others over. It's just not safe. And it might not be safe for a while yet. So please, please cancel the happy hours, the dinner parties, the sleepovers, the play dates at your home. Governor Tony Evers in a primetime address pleaded with people to stay home this past week and stay safe. COVID-19 is raging to new highs in Wisconsin. In fact, we're one of the hardest hit states across the country right now. And our upfront host Adrian Pedersen is at home recovering from coronavirus herself. We are so happy to be able to check in with you. Adrian, I see the smile on your face. How are you doing? Matt, it's so nice to be able to see you and talk to you. I'm doing so much better. Like you said, I'm here at home recovering from coronavirus, and I spent those 10 days in isolation like the CDC recommends. Now we're just being extra safe, and I'm looking forward to joining you back at work there soon. But I know that in the meantime, the show is in capable hands, so thank you. We are, we are attempting. Hey, I know you've been doing some good reporting from home. You talked with Dr. Deborah Burks from the White House Coronavirus Task Force this past week, and she's really concerned about Wisconsin. Right, Matt, so she specifically wanted to talk to us. She wanted to get this message out in Wisconsin. She says that right now we are having explosive spread in rural and urban areas. She warns that everyone should, of course, be wearing a mask. She also says that Wisconsinites should not be out in public gathering in places where they can't wear their mask the entire time, like bars and restaurants. She also says we shouldn't be having people over to our homes, not extended family, neighbors, friends, for the next 30 to 60 days. And so we've been tracking Europe very closely because they started their surge a couple of weeks before us. But they're already, if you look at the United Kingdom numbers, they're already starting to plateau. And they did that through, yes, a mask mandate, limiting all household gatherings to two. So that makes it very clear that you can't have outside household gatherings. They closed their bars, they closed their restaurants, but they kept their schools open. And so we know where spreading is occurring and it's not, now you can see universities are looking better, K through 12 are looking better. You know, when university students can follow masking and gatherings better than the average Wisconsin, we have a problem. So we have to join together, learn from what others are doing around the world and how they've stopped the spread. And so we do have a moment in time where if everyone in Wisconsin's rural and urban really only limits their interaction to their households, whether in public wearing a mask and not ever being in a situation where they take their mask off indoors in public. I also asked Dr. Burks if she'd be willing to stay on for an incoming Biden administration. She said she served in government for 40 years and would be willing to continue really wherever they see necessary. She did say the Biden administration has not reached out, but because she is a current federal employee, that can be tricky during a transition. Matt. Yeah, it's going to be interesting how that plays out. Adrian, it's really good to see you virtually. We'll see you back here very soon. Thank you. Thanks. Next, the number of recent voter fraud cases actually documented in Wisconsin.